Since I started playing the strongest battlegrounds, I've always wanted to have one of those funny ranks above my head. And it just so happens that June just started, which means that everyone's kills and ranks just reset. And what I'm going to call the rank race has started. But before that, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you the secret to how I climbed up in kills so fast. So make sure you stay until the end. So if you are unaware, the Strongest Battleground has a feature where at the beginning of each month, they reset people's kills in order to give everyone a chance to make it onto the leaderboard. I like this feature a lot, and I was able to take advantage of it this time. I grinded for hours, watched my kill numbers go up and up and up, higher than I've ever reached in one day, until finally... Oh my god, I made it to S-Class. Oh my god, I made it to S-Class. I'm an S-Class hero. I can finally, I can finally make that the title of the video. I got the S class rank. Hey guys, future vanilla here. Um, I basically just, I want to show you. L look at this. I lost the rank. I haven't played in two days, and I'm, I'm at the very bottom of C class. I'm about to lose my rank. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, man. Before I get back to the main video, I just want to let you know if you want to get a rank, you need to know that if you're offline for a few hours, you're, you're gonna fall a lot. Like I slept, I slept for a bit. You know, I slept like eight hours because I'm a human being and I came back and I was down to B class after being S. Yeah, that's about it. Back to the video. The Strongest Battlegrounds follows the same kind of ranking that the One Punch Man anime does. And if you haven't watched it, I suggest you do. It's a great anime and I'm going to talk about the ranking system right now. So for the heroes, there's four class rankings. C class, which is the weakest ranking, but it does mean that they are at least stronger than the average citizen. B class, which is just barely above C class. They still seem like fodder in the anime, but there are a few notable characters who do seem kind of strong. A class, which is where we begin to see some of the really strong heroes. Those in this class can defeat tiger level monsters alone, which is a pretty good feat. Finally, there's S class, which is a rank that yours truly was able to get. I don't think I need to explain S class much, but basically they are strong enough to at least defeat demon level monsters on their own. For the villain classes, the Strongest Battlegrounds also uses One Punch Man's ranking system. So in One Punch Man, there's five different threat levels, but the game, I think, only uses four of them. So there's Wolf level threat, which really just means you might be a threat. Tiger level threat, which means you threaten a large amount of lives. Demon level threat, which means you threaten an entire city. And Dragon level threat, which means you threaten multiple cities. There's also God level threat, but the Strongest Battlegrounds doesn't include that, I don't think. Unless... Well, now you know the rankings, but what good does that do you? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Well, you'll notice that these are the rankings you'll be climbing when you're gaining more kills. So if you were to become an S-Class hero, you could flex on everyone. Flex how you have basically no life outside the game, but we don't talk about that. Have you managed to get any rank yet? If so, let me know what rank it was down in the comments. And if you haven't gotten a rank, what was the most amount of kills you've gotten in one month? Also, while you're down there, you could also like and subscribe. It would help out a lot. Anyways, it's time that I tell you the secret to getting an insane amount of kills really fast in the strongest battlegrounds. With this secret, you will be getting double the amount of kills you normally get. But I'm gonna have to tell you, in order to get the double amount of kills, you're going to have to sell your soul. And by that, what I mean is you're gonna have to play Genos. I know, I know, not many of you like Genos. He can be a cringe class. A lot of people use him in a cringe way, and you're, you're probably gonna be made fun of for using Genos to kill people. But it has to be done, man. It has to be done. The reason you have to use him is because he's the easiest class to do this trick with. You can do it with Garo and Sonic, but they're nowhere near as easy to use as Genos. So with Genos, there's two ways to get double kills. One, you wanna kill the player, and then hit them with another move before they respawn. Doing that will guarantee you an extra kill. Or the second way, you want to finish them with one of the moves that's gonna burn them. Like you know, the, the finisher where once you use it, they just get cooked. Doing this, you'll guarantee two kills every single time you beat them. It's unfortunate, you can't get more than two kills. I've tried it, no matter what you do, you are capped out at two kills per player. Pair this up with toxic kill stealing and farming AFK players and etc. And you'll be in S class in no time. <clears throat> I, I totally didn't do that. And you shouldn't either. It's like, it's so toxic. And who would want to be that guy? Am I right? No one. No one wants to be that guy. Anyways, my last tip for getting extra kills is with Genos, use Speed Blitz Dropkick. If you can kill them with Speed Blitz Dropkick, you'll get it back again. 
and you can just start stacking up those kills. There was a time where I got like 20 kills in one ultimate because everyone around me was just kind of low and I just, I just kept using it. It was great. I was also kind of a loser, but don't make fun of me. Anyways, subscribe for more content. That's about it. See ya.